Oh, my next one is Valentino. So again, it was just all about gender fluidity. His inspiration was really about clubs and also the 80s, about how clubs can just be an inclusion of, you know, just varied people coming out, you know, and pretty much showing out like their best, you know, garments and everything. And like you definitely the 80s came through. There was a lot of like electric colors. Again, that pink was throughout, which everybody loves. There were so many spark, you know, sparkly things and sequins. Some of my favorite looks were like the, oh, and I also like the inclusion of like the menswear within the hot couture. So I really liked this, um, I guess it's a men's pico. I don't know, men's like long coat and it's fully embellished. I thought that looks like, I don't know, so delicious. I just really want that coat, but I'm sure it's obscenely expensive. Yes, I love it for you. I was going to say, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, this is a very Christian coat. I'm sure it's obscene. <laughs> yes, right. And so like throughout there was just like layers of chiffon. Everything was light, airy. Some of it did kind of go the way of Jean Batista and that too much around the collar and the neckline, it just seemed kind of like mm, clowny. And, um, but some of my favorite looks were like the one I feel like just because of the styling, it looked more so like club, like, like she would go out to the club because, you know, she's getting attention was this green tight number. She's wearing her little sequin panties over it. And of course there's gloves, which gloves are still, you know, beating touted over throughout, uh, all of the collections. Another one was this sequined, I think everything, there were like playful, whimsical uh, numbers like that last one. But the next one, it was just like so pretty. It was like this gold sequined short sleeve dress with this like up to there slit. She looked fantastic, especially cause like her, that paired with her skin tone, paired with the uh, pink high heels. She looked fantastic. That is my favorite look of this collection. My God, perfect and perfect casting. Right? And then also like you can tell like the craftsmanship, but also it's not like gaudy. It's not asking for attention. It's just present. Um, one of the things we can note we can talk, note here is about how like people, this was another collection because it happened last season where some of the shoes were not like wearable. And they would ha they would have to take them off like mid walk, and then we'll insert a clip of one of the models, and she just kept falling, and I felt bad for her feet and her ankles. Yeah, so a lot of the shoes just seemed to be unwearable. When she got up, it looked like her ankles were just jello, like her feet were still. <laughs> oh yes, Ugh, I hurt for her. Oh, it was just awful. But they keep doing this, and it's not like these are like unprofessional models like they've been walking in shows why aren't they making shoes that are wearable i have no idea but it reminds me of the show i used to watch on mtv called scarred <laughs> <laughs> it's um uh there was another the sim another one that was like in its simplicity it really let the color was that pink it comes with like i guess it was a short bodice like empire waist and then it had like I don't know, a layer over the bottom. Uh, it was really pretty. I love the color. It's just beautiful in its color and simple design. Uh, for a moment, I did forget completely about, because like synonymous with Valentino now is like the Valentino, what was it, PP Pink? Yeah. Um, but, you know, Valentino before that, it was Valentino Red. And until this like one number came out, yeah, it was the chiffon. It was like the beautiful. Something about it did kind of give me Laquan, but I feel like what Laquan wants to be, but this was executed really well. What do you think? Laquan has a look, and I'll put it in because neither of us chose him. Uh, despite, you know, I'm very black power. Don't try to give me that, people. This is about the clothes, beside the point. Laquan Smith has a similar look to this. I actually sent it to you because they posted some behind the scenes. And it looks mm. so hoochy. Like, that's the only word I can for it. <laughs> Every time it skews too far on the strip club side of couture and not just 
wearable and like you know any woman would would like this and appreciate it and especially for a certain price point like i'm not paying you for a mesh thong under a mesh ball gown that's crazy yes this is like the classy version of laquan smith if you will right and like i said one of the last numbers that i really liked was this men's look it was in this pink and something about this like coat on bottom i emblazoned in my mind was this uh, image of Cameron. <laughs> yes. Um, the rapper. And he was wearing like this pink coat and this pink, I think, shirt or pants. It was like a matching set. This gave me like couture that. Couture Cameron. We should tag him in this mm -hmm. because Cameron is one of those people like I started at first, I started the trend. He would love to see oh. that he is still being, you know, called upon in inspo boards and move boards. Yes. Really quickly, I want to go over some of my least favorite looks. And uh, one of the, the other trends I noted that was going through in several collections was the polka dot. So polka dots are going to be in, apparently. Here we decided to use them in cutouts. And I just think something about it is like reminiscent of Swiss cheese. I didn't care for that. And other looks, like this one, it did several cutouts. And this is the one I was talking about earlier where they just is over-designed and they just threw bows on it. Uh, I didn't care for that one either. They threw bowls in the holes. Yes. And like, what are you doing? I don't know. Um, two of the uh, other ones, I feel like they're almost there. It's just, why did they, it just went too far. Where the needless like flounces, I feel like there's something in both those garments that's really pretty, but there's just too much. There's like excessive flounce and then there's bows in those flounces. And then this one look, I really like it. I like it. It's just right here. It's There's something about it. Maybe it needs to be like a short sleeve, but it's this lime green uh, long sleeve and it's floor length and it's giving hairs. I sent her this reference and I Googled it and it's like uh, Looney Tunes and the alien bird. It's terrible. And so that's what it's giving. Um, they did try to be, this was a very inclusive um, casting. I'd like that they had different you know, body shapes as well. But I feel like the people who are wearing the quote unquote plus size model, um, for some reason it just felt like frumpy. Don't you think? Yeah. And I don't, I'm going to stop apologizing for being mean because maybe it's who I am. But some of these <laughs> looks were like Oprah when she first started going to award shows and stuff. And she was wearing like big capes and big bows and empire waist and lots of fabric. That's the vibe that one of these looks gave me the black with that big purple. Like Oprah and Queen Latifah at the Oscars. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Respectable grandma couture. Yes. So the last two uh, looks that I didn't really care for. One was them was this boxy oversized. I know that like oversized is massive right now, but this one, I don't know, maybe it's because he's so small. Like his head seems so small with his like oversized ginormous suit. But it's kind of giving me like Janet Jackson. I forgot what music video she dressed in. She was kind of like a little pimp. Um, <laughs> that was like in the 80s. <laughs> what, is it, what have you done for me lately? Um, the last one I put on here, it, I actually love the look. I just thought it was unfortunate that she had to take the shoes off because they were not wearable. And we saw her fall and just feel, look defeated. Yes. On the note of you saying them dressing the more full figured models frumpy, this purple look that is like all ruched and over, I don't know, it looks like a windbreaker sewn up into a dress. And then they have those giant gloves on her that are ill-fitting. And then they yes. put a bow on the side of her neck too, like a Christmas gift dog. I don't like that. Just because she's a little thick, like she's not even really plus size, she's thick. You never exactly. put her in this, you could have put her in one of those body conscious looks. Yes. Like frumpy stuff like this only is tolerable on the rail thin people that y'all put it on. If you put it on anybody with a hip or a boob, it looks crazy. And then lastly, this polka dot coat on this girl with the hole. It's really not even polka dot, it's holes because they have it cut out and it's like patent leather underneath the wool or whatever the coat is made out of. She has on a man's work shirt and tie with a bow around her bottom half. Vagina? Yes. Like, what is that? A vagina bow is what she's wearing. What's what what went on there? How did that pass the eye test in the back? Like, mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, they're gonna love that. They're gonna eat that up. Like I don't even know what that is. Like, is it underwear or is it a mini short? I don't, I don't know. Is yeah. it connected to the top or is the top tucked in? Right. It's it's not clear. No, Valentina. No, thank you. Either way, I don't like it. Mm-mm. 